What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back. Continuing on. Let's talk to uh, this child, which looks exactly like Lafayette for some reason. Eyes, hair. It's basically like a Lafayette clone. Our destination is Logris. Set a course. I'll do what I can, but this vessel really needs a bigger crew. We need to hire more men. Besides, if we keep sailing this way... You seem busy. We need more hands. We have to set our course and tie down the cargo. I've unfurled the sails. Does that not look safe to you? Sure. As long as it doesn't come loose. Now that was a right old conflagration. Don't think they'll be chasing after us anytime soon. You certainly didn't leave them much of a port, though. I wonder if the town will ever recover. How much did you tell them? I had just started episode two, Moggy Lou's Fury, wherein the beautiful witch is captured and tortured by a demon most cruel. I'm starting to see why they wanted to execute you. This is so hard to read. Actually, you're holding it wrong. It's built to function even if the ship is rolling. Huh. Velvet! The heading's fine! Kid, what's your name? Number two. Not that. Your real name. Surely you have one. Wanna hold it? Uh, if that's an order... I'm asking you what you want. So you're ordering me to answer? Uh, right, right. You Malakim would destroy yourselves as long as it was an order, wouldn't you? That is our purpose. You really are tools. In that case, keep your mouth shut. To do. There's nothing on this ship of value. We can fight them there. Huh. Well, look at that. They really are a bunch of demons. That works in our favor. You knowingly pick fights with demons? Must have a death wish. You're in trouble now that we're on land. Wipe them out, number two. That's an order. Whoa there. We're not the one you'll be fighting. It'll be me. No, I'm the Reaper. It looks like a Final Fantasy reject. Four, two, what is this guy? A Moloch pirate? A sword, twin blades. No pendulum that I can see. Hold up! Hold up! Let's go! How's that? Too slow. Hey, 
Oh yeah, I have the little dude now. You passed the test. Join us. Well, aren't you the impudent one? Says the demon who torched Televis. You knew about that? I hope you realize we're doing you a favor. If you'd stayed on that course, you would have smashed right up against the gate of Vortigern. You guys are headed for Midgand, aren't you? That means you're gonna have to go through the Narrows up ahead. But the Kingdom has a massive fortress there built to defend them, with a tremendous gate. A fortress. If this is true, we're in your debt. We desire to pass through as well, but we lack the strength. I propose we form a partnership. I'd be a fool to blindly trust the words of a pirate. Do you really want to see the gate for yourself? We won't stop you. We'll even throw you a nice funeral if you like. So what, we're allowed to refuse? Your business is your business, and ours is ours. There's nothing more to say. But first mate, y you can't go alone. We'll all come with you. You'd only get in the way. Stick to the plan and focus on your duties aboard the Von Eltia. Sounds cool. Hmm. Moloch number two. Uh, so what kind of arts does our little buddy have here? Triple Gale, Mana Eruption, Dark Quarter, Frozen Flame. Wind, earth, non elemental, and then double. So all hidden arts. First aid, first aid, first aid, first aid. Paper rock. One soul and halves damage received by allies for five seconds. That's interesting. Alright, so I'd wanna let's see. Target art using foes to thwart their casting. Gauge it rains. Attack healing. Fight offensively until your own HP. Yeah, that should be... He should be our healer. Okay. 
fashion. Well, you probably look good with the... Well, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe it doesn't look that good. With the eye patch, you can't see anything. I'll give him the little glasses. Normal style Lafa set. So is it Lafa set? Tragically, your favorite witch is neither a sailor nor a warrior. All she can really do is look on. No argument there. Is the Gate of Vortigern really something that impressive, Dial? They've got a fortress and a patrolling fleet, but the gates is the real show. Even a battleship couldn't blast its way through that thing. Is there no sea route that avoids the Narrows? There is, so to speak, but it's a long way out into the open sea. We just end up shipwrecked. <laughs> now, is Magalu ever going to do anything? And what are you folks planning anyway? Like I said, we're getting through that gate. If you're not helping us, then the conversation's over. Is it possible to get through? If the first mate says he'll do it, he'll do it. You sure put a lot of faith in him. He's a Moloch, isn't he? That doesn't matter. He's got the captain's blessing, and that's enough for us. Couldn't you ignore the Narrows and just sail around? Not now. We lost both our compass and several of our crew in an earlier attack. Compass? Huh. But in the end, we're pirates. If someone blocks our way, we can't just fall back. And that's what makes a pirate, huh? The pirates share our goal. I don't think we have any choice but to band together. True enough. If forward lies destruction and backward lies doom, sideways is your only option. And yet you don't feel like helping out. I sure don't. That Moloch isn't all he seems. Who knows what's up his sleeves? The kid's a Moloch too. Hey boy, you sense anything? Hmm. <sighs> We both have ulterior motives. In any case, let's go after him. Merchant? Anything... Ooh. Stun foes. Defense and art attack is going up with it. Elemental type damage reduced. We'll give you this, little buddy. be good for oh my dude what does he use focus successful quick step and it has defense on him so buy and equip on him firing is not bad but Want one for the little child. Amber waistcoat. Would help him a good chunk. And then I'll uh, just sell off some shit. Uh, 
sell off the ones I don't want anymore. Materials. Um. All right. Go after the dude. I see lots of cat souls. All my so they're going about trying to chain together multiple breaks to see how well that would work out. You'll be rushed on my place. <laughs> Might be able to work, just I don't think it was executed well there. Yeah, I know. So I need to. Shoots out a point blank, occasionally knocking down. I need something that's going to like dash forward. Um, we had to go that into a searing edge, into a rising moon. I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. Mm, more focus, less defense. Time you can use item reduced. Oh, these are way better. And they got absorb HP effect for arts. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, we'll put those on. We'll put those on. Get a couple of absorb HP effects. Something that's going to to dash. Launch a spirit. Upper kick. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Let's 
I'm thinking maybe I just can't start with that in the combo. I'm going Swallow Dance. Let me do... So I got, I got Double Searing Edge into Twin Whip for the attack down and stun. Morphous. And Crustacean. Put Slicing Foot in. And then we'll end it with... Yeah, I guess we can work it in there, so it's not going a while as a mind combo with that. I think I can do, um... Yeah. Sorry to catch it down. Turn off. Turn it into manual. That's another thing. You can you can have combat on semi-auto, which like automatic, they'll just completely fight on their own. But on semi-auto, they'll run to the target to do the moves. Whereas like right now, the only thing I'll do is look at a target. But if I want to hit something else, and I'm on manual, I can do that. Which is why it's nice. You won't get any pity or compassion from me. That demon hand. As I was reading up a bit more on the combos, it's like if you do. What I was trying to do is show you guys. Um, I read through all that. Yeah. So it's two or more, and I can either reduce the stamina cost, increase status effects, increase stagger time, or increase damage. But what I don't get is to do. I'd have to do a double break soul, I guess. So I don't know if the idea is like I get up to five. And then I dump it all out, going like right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, and then go into a Mystic Art maybe. So, you've chosen to trust a pirate? Not for a second. But if you're prepared to lend us the use of your ship and crew until we reach the capital, we'll help you. I'll agree to those terms, but there's something I should tell you first. I bring ill fortune to all those around me. The Reaper's Curse. I could flip this coin a thousand times and still land on tails. Trying to get through the fort costs the lives of five good sailors. If you join up with me, I can't guarantee your safety. Why would you go Spooky. out of your way to warn us? Even demons don't want to meet an unfair death, right? If you still want to come with me, just know the risks. Works for me. I land on tails. I'll flip it to heads on my own. Your name? Velvet. This is number two. Hmm. I'm Rokuro. A pleasure. Aizen. You've got a plan of attack, I'm sure. Let's hear it. To put it bluntly, Vortigern is impregnable. It won't fall to an attack whether by sea or by land. So, no plan? Wait, 
What about both at once? Exactly. First, we send in the Von Eltia to draw their fleet out of the Narrows. Then we slip inside and open the Seagate ourselves. The Von Eltia will then break away and rush back into the channel. We'll climb aboard and push through. One slip and we're all as good as dead. Then don't slip and we're not dead. <sighs> Walking with the Reaper, huh? The plan is already in motion. Let's move. This cave leads to the fortress. Scorpions are just stunning the shit out of me. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out? Well, I guess he's in my party now. Finally got a party of four. I wasn't sure, but I think that is the fourth guy, because the name Isaac sounds familiar. And I was looking up different characters in the game when I was creating the YouTube tags. That might be the one of the guys. Get out of my way. So, the question... Look at all these vines. I'm carrying some flint. Do you really think this is a good... Normally, no. But we're also demons and Malachim. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. We're not exactly normal ourselves. Go left or right. I'm gonna follow this way. Because the cat souls are this way. Or we're not gonna go that way. So hang on a second. Did a, I don't know, maybe it was that. I don't know. I swear I saw a move that didn't look like something I'd seen before. Hidden arts. Martial arts. So all of our hidden arts have some kind of strong ability around them. So I'm trying, I mean, it's been a while since I've, like, actually really gone all the way through the Tales game. But I swear there was something where you could, uh, like, if you chain a certain type of combo together, it would, like, basically unlock, like, super moves that were... They were combo-dependent only moves, basically. But doing like that set 
of four different moves. You pull off the combo and just annihilate everything. Like, kind of like a, uh, I don't know, the best way I, I, can, I can think to describe it Come is like on, really? chaining together the right kind of combo unlocked hidden moves. And we're seeing like moves that are called hidden arts, but that's not what I'm talking about. Like, they were actually like separate secret combos in a sense. I guess that's the best way to describe it. And I thought there was something like that back in Tales of Asperia. Now, obviously, it's been a really long time since I've done that, so I may be completely wrong here, but I want to say there was something like that. Oh, yeah. Give me them cat souls. This time, we'll... I unleashed all my power. What's a small amount of HP to one ally? Removes a slow effect, increases movement speed. Wind lance. Stunned or knocked down. Cost one soul engulfs the foe in fire. That sounds pretty badass. So that raises the question. Windlands, 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 windlands. Down on his own. The kid's awfully quiet. You think maybe there's something wrong with him? Number two's always that way. Stop that. Calling him by a number is cruel. What's Rokuro mean? Well, son number six, technically. <laughs> Same thing then. Not even remotely. Uh You all right, kid? Why didn't you say something? If Aizen hadn't noticed in time, you'd be dead. Because you ordered me to keep my mouth shut. That's not what I meant! Why? Why would you do that? Whoa, take it easy, Velvet. Let me guess, kid. You were bound by an exorcist? I thought as much. The boy's will has been sealed away. Malakim have individual personalities, just like humans. But exorcists have developed methods to seal those personalities away, so they can use Malakim as uncomplaining tools. Will he always be like this? Can't say. I've never seen one escape the exorcist before. <sighs> Once I get more arts, what I'll probably do is just switch up my combos so that, power like that one of them Listen, in particular kid, is a... If you're uh, ever in trouble, speak up, okay? If I'm in... trouble? You said exorcists bind Malakim's free will. Yeah. 
We've lived in this land a long time, and we're our own folk, just like humans. Only a small portion of humans, those with strong resonance, like the exorcists, were able to perceive our existence. But the advent changed that. Now Malakim can be seen by ordinary people. We're being robbed of our free will and made into obedient tools. Humans praise Arturius for providing a miraculous new weapon against demons, but Malakim aren't mere objects. Malakim aren't things? They are. Huh? As far as Artorius is concerned, Malakim, demons, and humans are all nothing more than tools. Everything in service to his utopia of reason. And that's all anyone is to him. Even my brother. Oh, is this where I saw that shop entrance at? There's a dialogue up there. I wonder if that's the way to go. And we're at 36 minutes. So we're going to see what's this way, and then I'll probably wrap this one on up. And we'll uh, continue on with the cave in the next episode. Let's see what's behind this corner. And it dead ends. So that definitely makes my decision. No, no, it does not dead end. Well, either way, we're going to wrap this one up here for now. Don't want to go too long. But we'll be continuing on in the next part, so stay tuned, and we'll see you all then.